Hey everyone. Uh, today is Monday, March 13th. And I can't get my lighting figured out. <laughs> but no, really, I, um, I came on here to remind myself to give myself grace because today I had like a mini meltdown. Um, I had made a list. I'm in the living room all the time. It's a big size room. And I had made a list about um, all the little just touch up things that we needed to do. Mainly it was the crown molding, the base, and around the windows, like all the white that you see. And so I had come up with a list. We went to the store the other day, picked up the stuff. Uh, wasn't as pricey as I thought, uh, as it could have been. Um, so I was thankful for that, but um, got all the stuff that we needed. And then today was the day. Today I was like, okay, uh, after work and I'm feeling good because it's my recovery week. So uh, I said, all right, yep, let's do this. And my husband was home today, so, um, you know, that was good. And then I started sanding. And I did a window and the baseboard trim for half the living room. And I had to stop. Um, I couldn't breathe that easy with the mask on, but I felt like I needed a mask on. Um, I my hands because of, and feet because of my neuropathy and the sanding like I could do it but just not for long periods of time um and then by the time he got to doing the caulking and the painting I was just so tired um and so that was kind of what my little mini meltdown was over was because you just boy you're just not you in your head you think you're still the old you and you think that you still have the old you not only energy but that you have the old you working mobility <laughs> and then reality lets you know nope um, but you know, I'm okay. It's okay. It's just, it's going to be an adjustment. Even the littlest projects are going to take some time, but I have to tell myself that Tani, you are still doing a project while undergoing chemo. Like girl, <laughs> what, what, and why are you being so hard on yourself? Like, I know that's what other people would say. It's just... My mind is just different. Um, because in my mind, it's like, well, it's March and it's spring cleaning and it's a new house and we've got all these things to do. It doesn't matter that I have cancer. It doesn't matter that I'm undergoing chemo. Because March isn't going to wait and April will be here before you know it. And April's a super busy month for us between birthdays and taxes and Easter then you know what? It's May. You know, I don't know. Then you could just keep going. So I'd rather start it and do little by little than be afraid and, and give up everything and be like, no, I can't even do any projects because, oh, because now I know I can't do this or that. No, I can do it. It's just going to take me longer. And I'm just going to have to realize that and start to work around it. But to anyone else out there, you know, be kind to yourself, love yourself, 
self-care. Listen to your body. It's okay when you got to sit down and take a break. It's okay. It'll still be here. So, I hope maybe tomorrow or the next day I can look back on that, on this, and be thankful to myself. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm almost like two people. There's the person going through chemo, and then after I have my little meltdown, then there's like the real me that's like, come on now. Um, but I've been doing some video of what we've been doing and in here and it's it's not going to be look like a huge huge change other than the white is going to be popping um i don't know i like stuff to match i like it to be yeah i, I can't stand there was like three different kinds of whites shades of white there was old cock that was like done wrong and like super thick and these people, these, not necessarily, I can't necessarily say it was the people that were here before us, but somewhere along the line, someone done messed up and just, see, and here I said it, every time I go to record, there's an animal that wants to be loud. Hi, Charlie. Are you going to say hello? Are you going to say hi? We can hear you. What's the probs? What's wrong? So we bought this house, as I've mentioned before, back in May, and we're in this living room the most. So we decided to, since it's uh, March, we decided to start on our spring cleaning and then do some little bit of touch up. Not a whole lot needs to be done, um, but we definitely wanted to get all of the white trim all uh, recocked, sanded, cocked, and then repainted all the same white because there was like three different types of whites, off whites going on. So this is my husband, Ryan. Um, he is <clears throat> definitely the taller one of the two <laughs> to be getting uh, these windows down. But here I was just sanding. And I'll tell you, physical work, man. Whew. You feel it. You feel it right away. But together, I think we make a good team. And that's, you know, just how you get things done. Especially going through chemo, it's, he definitely has to help out and pitch in a lot more. Um, he's getting all of the caulk out and ready for some new fresh white caulk. And I'm getting going on vacuuming here. I love this vacuum, by the way. I know I, I'm pretty sure I got it from Target. And it's a pet one specifically, but I love it. And yeah, we're just doing some finishing touches here. Here I am doing the um, base molding. And I can tell by looking out the windows, it was getting a little darker. 